Okay. So the formats that we have discussed so far is R, I, S, and U. Okay. What is missing right now? So we have discussed add I, immediate, LW, SW instruction, LUI instruction. We are missing the instruction called the branch instructions. Okay. So R, where we have RS1 and RS2 label. So what do you think among all these instruction formats and the instruction encoding formats, which one can fit best to serve this BEQ branch instructions? So give it a pause and try to answer it. Um, so you see in branch instruction, we have RS1, RS2, and the label, which is the 12-bit immediate data. So the first is first format, R format has RD. We do not need this. So we this would not serve our purpose. I format has also RD. S format has RS1 and RS2. It does not have RD, so it could serve our purpose. And of course, U format cannot serve our purpose. So S format is the best format that we can use to represent BEQ instructions. Okay, but there is a problem. And what is that problem is the offset and branches. So let's talk about this. The full instruction address is 32 bits and there are only 12 bits to encode the target address. So instead of the, so um, before I approach this problem, I'd like to tell you about, um, discuss the scenario here. So for example, we have, let's say, this is the instruction memory and we have first instruction, second, third, four, and so on. Okay, four, eight, 12, 16, 20 and so on. Okay, so the four is the address which we can represent in, I'm sorry, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 and then 12 is this, 16 is this. <clears throat> okay, so for example, the PC corresponds to this one. The PC is mean, means that if this is the instruction Let's say this is a PEQ instruction X1, X2, and then it has to jump to the label. And that label is always the 12 bits value. Okay, now this 12 bits value um, corresponds to the address where we are supposed to be jumped. Okay, so for example, if, we, if the current instruction is at this address, let's say it is at 4. Okay, so let's say this is the current instruction. Okay, and it has to jump to label 16. Let's say, let's say it has to jump to 16. Okay, here. Now assume that um, the immediate, immediate field is four bits only. Instead of 12 bits, it is, for the time being, assume that it is four bits only. So four bits means that we can store the address of the instruction, which is four, which is eight and 12, but for 16, we cannot store this address, okay? So that is a limitation. So just like in the four bit, the scenario, um, we cannot actually reach to the address 16 because of this four bits. Similarly, there is also a limitation in 12 bits immediate field. So this is actual, in actual, it is a 12 bits, um, data so what we do is we are trying to optimize to um to reach as farther as we can in the instruction memory because if you are writing for example if you're writing a code if some condition and then you have a long series of instructions here if our uh, processor is not able to reach that far in the memory like for example um starting from here sorry starting from this point if it cannot reach until this point um, and any anywhere in the memory then there will be of no use of using this if else structure because there uh, will be a huge limitation so for example we have let's say 12 bits of data so what address uh, we can reach to so 2 to the power 12 minus 1 which is uh, 2048 so this is minus 2048 to 2 to the power 11 minus 1 which is 204 Seven actually, so which is actually two zero four six, which has to be multiple of two or multiple of four. We shall talk about it later. But you get the idea that if 
if we have some restriction that how many number of instructions we can enclose in the if block or the else block, and then it, it, it is considered as a drawback that we cannot write that many instructions because our 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 processor cannot reach to um, to to the instructions written far in the memory. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is what the designer is trying to do here is they are trying to increase the reachability into the memory. So instead of storing the actual address, the actual address of the instruction 16, what they do is they actually store the offset, offset between the PC, the current value, and and the instruction, the branch instruction it has it is supposed to be jumping to. So it will only store the difference between this. So if if you follow this approach, what we do is the PC is currently at four, and the branch we have to jump to has the value 16. So it will only store 16 minus four, which is 12. Okay, so the label will have the value 12. And before actually executing or calculating the actual address where it is supposed to be jumping, it will perform 12 plus this 12 plus the PC four, which, which I will explain it in, in this slide also. So the 12 can be represented in four bits okay and the four can also be represented in four bits so we have actually increased the reachability in the code by following this approach okay so this is one thing that has been used to optimize the reachability in the instruction memory okay there is another thing that um <coughs> that has been uh, done which i will be talking about later but um, yeah, so instead of full address, we store the offset as one number in the 12 bits. The offset is the distance between the target address and PC. Okay, the target address is relative to PC. This is what Johnny referred as PC relative addressing. So here, with the help of this, the reachability, which is the green instruction that can be reached, the green area can be increased with the help of this approach. So instead of storing the actual address, we just store the branch offset, the difference between the PC, where the, the address of the PC and where it is supposed to be jumping at, okay? So when encoding branches, assembler calculates the offset. So the branch offset, how the branch offset is calculated, so target address where we are supposed to be jumping minus the, the current instruction address, okay? So if this value is greater than zero, it has to jump forward. If it is less than zero, it has to jump downwards, okay? And um, yeah, so when processor executes the instruction, it forms a 32-bit immediate from the 12 bits in the machine code, okay? So the target address is calculated with the help of PC plus immediate data. So the immediate data, which we were storing in this example that I gave you, we were storing 16. Now we have to store only, um, what's that? It's, uh, we only have to store 16 minus four, which is 12, and that can be represented in four bits. So that will actually help us um, increase our reachability within the limitation. So I gave you an example of four bits that exactly holds true for the 12 bits. Okay, so in, instead of 2048, we can actually reach to the um, um, more um, farther um, instructions in the memory. Another optimization they have done is, uh, before I talk about it, just recall the memory structure, how the memory organizes. Uh, I mentioned that it's a, it's a one-dimensional array of bytes um, placed horizontally, but uh, I also mentioned that because of the limitation, the space limitation in the slides, I cannot um, use the visual representation of memory horizontally like this. Rather, I would be using, I mentioned that I would be using a stack of four bytes, which represents each memory. Okay, so now after this, um, um, a quick recall, um, words and half words have alignment issues. So when aligned, address of words must be a multiple of four, okay? Address of half word must be a multiple of two. So for example, if you are accessing half word, say so the address must be a multiple of two, and that makes sense, okay? So RIS-5 does not require data to be aligned. However, instruction must be aligned, which means that, for example, this is the first instruction, 32-bit instruction, for example. This is another 32-bit instruction, another 32-bit instruction. But if we read the instruction from this point, if we start reading the 32 bits from this point onwards until this point, 
we could read the 32 bits data, but that may not be a valid instruction according to the processor because the op code is actually starting from this point and we are actually reading the instruction from this point. So op code, it, it will definitely get the first seven bits, but they, that, that value may not represent a valid op code. Or maybe it may represent a valid op code, but it might be a different operation. So um, uh, it would not execute um, correctly. So we have this instruction memory, 32 bits wide, and main our data memory is also 32 bits wide. We assume that all the instructions are 32 bits, okay? But there are, so each instruction is 32 bits wide offset of four bytes. There are some instructions in C that are 16 bits wide, or two, two words, okay, or the half word. Can be located at any even address. So in that case, we need to have the offset of two bytes. So instead of saying that um, four by uh, address, um, the offset address of four bytes, we may also have the address in multiple of two. Okay, so RIS-5 keeps the ability of branching to any even addresses. So because of the insignificance of the rightmost bit, that is always zero, the immediate data field can be represented in 13 bits. What does that mean? So before um, I proceed ahead, let me go back to the um, whiteboard again. And let me tell you that, uh, suppose that we have these instructions. Okay. So because of the risk 5 ability to address instructions, it's based at half word. So the address of, for example, the address of the first instruction would be zero, 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 zero. The next instruction would rather than be at four, it would be at two, okay? And then the next instruction would be at four. And then the next instruction would be at um, six, and then eight, and then so on. So you see that this bit is constantly zero. So there is no point of storing this bit. So they say that um, instead of storing this bit, what we do is we store the 12 bits immediate data, but considering it as a 13 bit value. I know it's a little bit uh, confusing to understand, but what we what they do is they, for example, um, this is the 32 bits, let's say, sorry, 12 bits value of an address where, um, let's say, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Let's say we have the EQ, X1, X2, and 128, okay? So this is, uh, this is how the instruction should be storing the immediate or the address value, for example, okay? So they say that um, because of this, the insignificance of the zero, they will not consider storing this value, rather, they will store another bit on the leftmost side and because of this instead of accessing 2 to the power 12 minus 1 which is 2048 minus 2048 they could actually reach to a value 2 to the power 13 minus 1 which is minus 4096 to 204 and here 409 sorry 2048 4096 and 4095 and here it's 402047 okay so only because of not storing this value instead of 12 bits we can store a 13 bit value when the when the instruction so for example when the processor is decoding decoding the instruction it has it will read only the 12 bit value for example whatever it is it will only read the 12 bit value and what it will do is before calculating the actual address it will append this additional zero to make it a 13 bit value and then extend it into 32 bit okay so it will be more clear when i'll show you an example so Instead of now minus 2048 to 2046, we can now access minus 4096 to 4094 in multiple of two, okay? So recall that the SW instruction format, we have the opcode, immediate five bits field, func3, rs1, rs2, and the address field. So 
here is the 12 bits immediate data we know that the first five bits of this 12 bits immediate data are stored here and the upper seven bits are stored here okay so the branch instruction follows the same format five bits here five bits here for three and five bits for the immediate field of chord but we know that because this bit is always zero in the immediate data what we would do is we would only store bit number one to bit number four here okay and bit number five to bit number ten here which is the six bits okay the 11 bit here which actually the leftmost bit actually represents the sign because but we are storing the 13 bit value so we are not going to store this 11 bit here because this is the not this is not the sign bit in the 13 bits data okay so this is the 11th bit here which we will store at different location but um, the sign bit must always be at the leftmost side so that when processor reads this value it determines how to extend this data the immediate data into 32 bit data depending on the sign if it is one it will extend all bits to one if it is zero it will extend all bits to zero so we have to store the 12th bit here and this 11 bit will go here okay this is a little bit complicated but again i hope that i will be able to clear um you know, with uh, with the example that is next okay so the sp format let's say that that is what we call the sp format so we are following the s format but for the branch instruction it is called the sp format okay so b n e x 10 x 11 2000 okay okay so what we have is 2000 is the actual value that we are supposed to be storing how it is stored now so 2000 is this uh, if you convert that into binary this is how it is and convert it this is again a 12 bit value and this is a 13 bit we want to represent it as a 13 bit okay so in the format this is the op chord this is from three rs1 rs2 which is um, x10 and x11 now let's try storing the the value immediate value it's one to four we are not going to store this zero okay so these four bits bit number one two three and four will be stored here okay and bit number um this goes here all the blue bits okay and here the 12 the 11 bit is this one and the 12 bit is one. the 12 bit actually defines the sign and it must always be stored at the leftmost location so this will store here and the 11th bit will go here okay so branch ranges for 13 bit is 2 to the power 12 to 2 to the power 12 minus 1 which is minus 4096240094 okay so it, we are so we are actually able to or increase the reachability of the chord so it represents minus 4096 offset in the immediate format of the branch instruction so what you will be given so for example i could give you a task to write 2000 and write the binary equivalent in in this one in in the sv format so you're supposed to be encoding this into sv format or i can give you this uh, machine code and i i may ask you that it is the sv format what will be the um, what what is the actual label or actual immediate data so you should know that these first first four bits are starting from so what you do is you simply write zero and then it starts reading from bit number one to four so you'll write this one here and then bit number five to ten uh, the these six bits will come next and then the eleventh bit will be this one after right after the op chord and the twelfth bit is the leftmost bit so this is how you should be decoding the immediate data uh, in the SB representation. Alright, thank you.